This is Morning Express. Today happens to be the 25th day of April 2016. It is now 25 minutes to 7 and do stay with us right here on Morning Express. Later on we're going to have the way it is where we'll be looking at some of the political things that have been happening over the weekend and possibly their implication. Of course one of them being the fact that the opposition has made it very clear that today they're going to storm the IEBC and begin their sitting until IEBC is removed. And of course, that's one of the things that we're going to be discussing right here on Morning Express. Also, we're going to be looking at the procedures that can be used constitutionally to remove the IEBC. So that's coming up after, slightly after the newspaper review. And joining me to do that is uh, Honorable William Oketch. Good to have you. Morning. And uh, good morning. I hope you had a good weekend. I did, I did. Was it restful? It was, certainly. It was. Eh? Yeah. It All was. right, so let's go through the dailies this morning and starting off with a standard where we have neck makes a drastic move on 2016 exams. Of course, we do know that one of the biggest uh, controversies we had in the education sector this uh, last uh, term yes. was uh, exam cheating. So Certainly. NEC has, seems to have come out with a plan. Certainly. I think this move was uh, a long time overdue. You remember there had been issues. Uh, there was an interim report which came out that uh, whose outcome was actually shocking. Apparently, there had been uh, something of a network a network within the system, all the way from neck down towards the chain, the police, the distribution channels. And um, you are aware, after that, some board members were removed from office, and Professor Magoa uh, appointed as the new board chair. We hope he is an individual who's proved his mettle. We hope that uh, with such moves, uh, the 2016 exams will be credible. Will be credible. Yes. Absolutely. And of course, we are looking forward to having an examination system yes. that not only tries students uh, eight years worth of education in one exam, yes. uh, but of course, even if that be the case, then it needs to be credible yes. and to be one that uh, can be followed up well. Certainly. All right. Also on the front page, a, a nice picture there of all smiles. Mm -hmm. And that is Kipchoge, Samgong, mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. uh, none other than Prince Harry mm -hmm. as they won their London Marathon. Certainly, and this indeed is a moment of pride for, 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 for Kenya. Uh, following, it's hot on the heels of the victory which we had in Singapore, the Rugby seven, oh, yes. uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, Sevens. Mm -hmm. And again, the London Marathon, uh, Kenyan, uh, uh, the, the, the main race won by uh, Eliud mm -hmm. Kipchoge. Kipchoge. Mm -hmm and Jamima Sungom. And it is very interesting because we find that uh, the lady in the initial steps of the race, the lady had fallen. Yes. So it shows you that spirit. She got up again and she went on to the race and she won. It certainly shows a lot of mm -hmm. resilience and physical fitness, yes. but also mental resilience. Mental I can imagine resilience. for a marathon, you're, mm -hmm. I mean, using your every ounce of energy. Mm -hmm. So even falling is mm -hmm. literally, it, it knocks the energy out of you. It doesn't stop you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it didn't stop her. And congratulations mm -hmm. right there. But also mm -hmm. uh, for Kipchoge, he just mm -hmm. missed the world record mm -hmm. with a whisker. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. You're almost feel like you should have mm -hmm. just you know given him a dashed push. or even flew yeah. for those eight seconds yeah and by the yeah. way even in, in with mm -hmm. Sumgong, she, she mm -hmm. seemed to have certain challenges because mm -hmm. there was also a guy who jumped out of the crowd yes. and uh, wanted to stop her yes but that still did not stop her certainly so, and this is certainly brand kenya mm -hmm. and you see the the, the 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 prince is taking so much advantage of that absolutely this is brand kenya it's a moment of pride. Although I don't see any Kenyan flag there. But anyway, this would have been a moment to have that photograph <laughs> it's with, not. with a Virgin, Kenyan flag. Uh, Virgin actually were major sponsors of mm -hmm. the event. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard Branson's brand. Right. And that's why you were even aware when they won, they were not given the national flags, but right. they were given the Virgin, the Virgin flag. The Virgin yeah. flag, yeah. So course, commercial interests. Branding there. Yeah, and we branding. do know that he has interest in Kenya as well. He has. He's been investing in Kenya for quite a bit. Yes. But also moving on now, um, a story, a sad story over the weekend. Mother Africa mourns mm -hmm. music icon, Papa mm -hmm. Wemba. Papa Wemba, when people talk of maestro, I think now this is where the term actually, it fits in. Mm. Papa Wemba has been doing his thing. Uh, he was initially in the original group of, uh, of uh, Zaiko Langa Langa right. with Bozi Boziana. Right. He went on to also sing with Kofi Olomide. Mm -hmm. And he's been known for some of the greatest hits. And uh, I think it's actually, he went down in style, if I could say that. Absolutely. Doing what you love doing, doing, doing what you love to on do. stage, mm. in front of the world audience. Mm -hmm. 
may his soul rest in peace. It's yeah, a sad what, moment. What a way to yeah. go, you know, just literally doing what you're best known for yeah. and uh, keeping up that spirit of uh, singing. Yes. Uh, but yes, may, he, may the Lord rest his soul in peace. Now, Certainly. an interesting story here on mm -hmm. page six mm -hmm. of uh, two women who had been fighting for uh, uh, property and uh, the court has ordered mm -hmm. for a woman to rebuild the widow's house. Yes, I think uh, this is a major working call for us men. And uh, when it comes to setting your things in, in order, order. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain legal avenues of doing that. You can write a will, you can create an, 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 uh, what is called like a charity trust. So that because all humans, we are fickle. You do not know the time and the hour, just like it happened with Papa Wemba. It could strike you anytime, anytime, especially those individuals with a high net worth. Mm. Yeah? So in this instance, you find that uh, uh, one widow um, allegedly had been di divorced, mm -hmm. but those, that did not go through. Uh, the divorce had not yet uh, gone it through. It didn't go through, mm -hmm. and the husband continued living with her, maintaining her, providing for her. So in the unfortunate event of the demise of the husband, uh, the other widow uh, tried to evict her from one of the residences. And it's been the holding of the court that uh, you cannot certainly deny a widow of her right to somewhere to stay in the matrimonial house. Mm -hmm. So the orders come out, uh, the house is to be rebuilt mm -hmm. by the core widow. By the core widow. Yes. Wow. That's, uh, well, the legal system taking place. Mm -hmm. And uh, moving on to page eight, mm -hmm. where court, we will not be stopped in our quest to eject commissioners. Now, uh, as per yesterday, court had promised that starting today, mm -hmm. they were going to storm the IEBC offices at Anniversary Towers Sorry. in a peaceful protest. And to quote uh, the court leader, Raila Odinga, he said that they are not afraid of tear gas. Certainly, and uh, this has always been the opposition mantra. They've always, uh, it's been their clarion call that they do not have faith in the IBC as currently constituted. And they're trying to pull off something akin to what the government did with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Mm. But therein lies the problem. Government has certain mechanisms, uh, which I would call uh, mechanisms to, 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 to put on pressure. You know, you are aware last time um, government made a commitment. They wanted the Ethics and, and Corruption Commission out. Uh, these people, we were told, were called to meetings. Allegedly, some had guns put on their head, mm -hmm. so it was said. And uh, I think the opposition is trying to pull out a similar stunt. It's interesting to see how it's going to turn out because there are laws as that established, yes. that course, should regulate the way IBC should, should terminate. Right, and yes. uh, that's uh, to what, when we finish the newspaper yes. review, we're going to be looking at some of those uh, ways that IEBC can legally uh, be taken out of office. So we're going to go yes. through that yes. and, of course, put it on a magnifying glass. So of course, and, uh, one of the debates that we're going mm -hmm. to be having right here on the way mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. is uh, IEBC. Mm -hmm. And uh, on page 9, the deputy president, again, like almost a rebuttal, Yes. to the opposition saying that stop inciting the public, Ruto tells opposition, and he said that is all just rhetoric, it's nothing that anybody should pay attention to. Well, I, I would, I would uh, like to, to refer the DP's comments as those of uh, a politician per excellence. Mm. He was in that church, he said that, uh, well, IBC does not determine who votes or who wins the vote, mm. but rather it is the votes of the citizens. But again, it's very important to know that uh, he who counts the votes mm. is also very important. Absolutely. Because you could count it in reverse, mm. Mm. you know, mm. so that the actual winner does not actually come out as indeed it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the opposition may have a credible uh, 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 complaint about IABC, but still, notwithstanding that, there are credible ways, legal of ways it. of doing it. Okay. Yes. And uh, also to mention that uh, I'm sure the opposition also mm -hmm. had a bit of uh, impetus added to their campaign uh, by the fact that the NCCK over the weekend also came out and said that uh, it is time for IEBC to pack and leave. Certainly so. Certainly so. And you know, that is a very strong voice. The National Council of Churches of Kenya, it's a very strong voice. Mm -hmm. And it weighed in on the issue saying that uh, it, it's high time that IEBC 
be injected with confidence and the only way to do that is for these commissioners to exit. Mm. So I think the opposition came out strongly on the heels of that. They are rather taking advantage. Absolutely. Yeah. Page 10, as we finish on uh, the standard this morning, agency mm -hmm. to issue tough rules mm -hmm. on use of trucks and uh, there's a picture there, some pictures there mm -hmm. of uh, rules Overloaded and regulations trucks. of uh, being flouted right in the face of the authorities because of course these are on public roads and again mm -hmm. a matter of concern mm -hmm. Because accidents in Kenya have always been a mm -hmm. point of worry. I think this has been a long time overdue. Uh, trucks keep on overloading goods. There are no safety measures put in place. Mm -hmm. There's one instance uh, that uh, we were in traffic and a truck had carried uh, not actually bricks but those building stones. Right, right. They were not secured in any way. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, he had to apply emergency brakes mm -hmm. going ahead. Mm -hmm. And one of the stones fell onto the other person's vehicle, smashing the windscreen. So I think it's long time. There, there should it's be limits you, on yeah. how long I... you can load. Yeah. And uh, safety features on how to make sure that that load is contained mm. within that within truck. Within that truck. Yeah, yes. they're, they're, they've mentioned uh, things mm -hmm. like those sand carriers yes. and, uh, you know, the dust being blown. Being but like blown you mentioned, I also have a friend who got mm -hmm. injured on a roundabout because it's a yes. similar thing. Yeah. Uh, as you're going round a mm -hmm. bend mm -hmm. and it was carrying, you know, bricks. Yes. And one actually fell off the vehicle. Yes. Went through the mm -hmm. side uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mirror and literally oh, sorry. Uh, landed sorry. on his laps, injuring him. And of course, mm -hmm. uh, it could even be fatal. Yeah, uh, certainly. Yeah, it, it, especially certainly. if it happens at the wrong time and at the wrong yes. speed, then that would be fatal. So certainly. it's long overdue. Then mm -hmm. finally on page mm -hmm. 12, um, Global Drive to Save Elephants mm -hmm. launched. And uh, this, of course, is going to be one of the biggest uh, halls of uh, tasks being burnt as a sign that yes. Kenya is against any uh, poaching. So April 30th, that's the big day. It's going to be graced by uh, celebrities, we are told from Hollywood, mm. uh, key government officials, the NGO sector, those right. who have been uh, for, for this anti-poaching thing. Mm. So I think it's uh, also an opportunity for, for Kenya to be on the world map. Absolutely. Yes. And I was reading an article on mm -hmm. the actual procedure mm -hmm. of burning mm -hmm. the tasks mm -hmm. uh, because one would, they're, they're, they're like teeth. So, yes. you know, burning them mm -hmm. is not just uh, mm -hmm. a walk in the park. Yes. And apparently they have to burn for up to three days for, up to three for days. them to disintegrate. Otherwise, Certainly. all you do is char them. Yes. And of course, uh, mm -hmm. somebody could steal. And you, you know, need security. And you need security for that. as well. Absolutely. And one thing that I, I would like to bring out, uh, having been someone who works in the judicial system, uh, poaching is also a network. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, 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 it's a network of criminals. And you'll be amazed at the vast amount of resources. Every week, I would say that every month uh, in the law courts, mm -hmm. uh, about five people are convicted mm -hmm. of poaching and fined of up to two million. They pay this money. They pay this money in weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, the procedure is that uh, once you pay, you have your passport ready, you have your ticket ready, you are shipped out of the country. Right. So I think uh, it's just to show you that uh, it is a very deep network mm -hmm. with vast resources. Mm -hmm. So all people need to come together so that you count all hands that. on deck. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, moving on now to the Daily Nation. Let's look at the Daily Nation this morning mm -hmm. where the headlines is IEBC must go. Ryla vows ahead of March and uh, that, mm -hmm. of course, is scheduled to begin sometime today. Certainly. And they have mm -hmm. called for many to come out in huge numbers and not mm -hmm. to fear because uh, it is exercising a democratic mm -hmm. right apparent according to mm -hmm. uh, the court leaders uh, and the catchword was storm storming storm. the ibc offices but i think it's more of like a public petition yes you know like a protest mm -hmm. well according yeah.